Yeah, I know. It's all Wendy's fault. <laughs> it's Wendy's fault. Like, okay, 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 okay. 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 What is that, you big moose? Huh? Snip it all up. <laughs> Snip it all up. Get it. Huh. Yes, you silly girl. Are you filming? <laughs> <laughs> so, Brian said that I needed to do an intro for the video on milking the goat for the first time. So <laughs> I don't think it was quite, Indigo's eating the camera right now. Um, I don't think it was quite as difficult for the reasons I thought it was going to be, but it was more difficult for other reasons. <laughs> so I really was worried that I just wouldn't have the dexterity that I had when I was younger. Um, and I'd learned to milk a goat, but that wasn't a problem at all, Rogue. Thank you for slobbering on me. Um, <laughs> goats are all trying to get Brian's camera. <laughs> um, so I, I wasn't having any problems doing the motion for the milking. That was easy. It was like, well, hello. It was, it was like I had never stopped doing it. I'd always done it. So. The thing that I was surprised about was that I couldn't get the goat on the milk stand. I couldn't get the goat to stand still no matter what kind of food she had. I couldn't, she just didn't want to do it. She wanted nothing to do with it at all. <laughs> Ryan's moving everything. The goats are just tormenting him and Indigo would like to walk under the tripod which would be a very bad idea. <laughs> And now, now Indigo is eating Brian's ear. <laughs> it would be more funny if I just narrated what was happening to Brian. <laughs> um, yeah, so, milky. So, I guess, you know, I, I feel pretty good that we were able to get the goat where we needed it and get her milked and that she didn't end up with mastitis or something because we didn't milk her all the way or something like that or she didn't go out of milk because because we weren't milking her so now she's being milked su successfully twice a day um i do sometimes still have a hard time getting her to go on the milk stand she'll she'll do it great like perfect for days and then one morning she will just decide, no, I'm pretty pissed off and now I have to go under the tripod. <laughs> you are so silly, you goose. You are a goose. <laughs> so, so, you'll so have just to explain. Leading her is really difficult. You'll have to explain about the new milk stand and why we needed the new milk stand. Oh, yeah. So we did end up getting a big metal milk stand just because Indigo is such a large goat. She's really, really big. I, I think she's big even as far as a Nubian goes. She's, she's a big goat. She's a really big girl. Um, and she's extremely strong. And so that combined with her general obstinacy, she's very obstinate. If you don't, if she doesn't want to do it, she's not going to do it. She's just going to stand there. Um, so those two things combined means that we had to get a brand new milking stand. <laughs> so I have this pretty 
cute little wooden one that I built, which I still hope to use with the other girls. Um, and especially for things like like when, when we have little kids and things like that and I need to trim their hooves and stuff, I think that will be good for them. Uh, because I can lift these girls onto the milk stand. Indigo, I can't drag her if she doesn't want to go. If that goat doesn't want to move, she's not moving anywhere. <laughs> so, yeah. So we had to get a new milk stand that's metal. It has a ramp on it. Um, I do think I'm going to end up building a ramp for the wooden milk stand as well, just to make it easier on the girls to get on there. But like I said, I can, I can actually lift them and put them on it. So it's not such a big deal. Um, yeah. So... Yeah, the, the metal milking stand is, is working pretty well, but e even with this big heavy duty milking stand, Indigo will shake and rock that thing sometimes if I'm not right there to calm her down to the point where the headpiece will start to come off and things like that. So I have to be there telling her to settle down and giving her more treats and... <laughs> quickly turning the the ratchet onto that thing to get it to lock down again because she's she's a nuisance she's lucky she's so pretty and sweet generally other than when you're milking her um because she's loud she's so loud and she's she's a pain in the butt when she wants to be but she's really cute and she's very funny aren't ya you're funny. Are you funny? <laughs> so she's just gonna stand still like I am not funny. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, you're funny. You're a goose. You are a goose. So. So I was surprised that uh, with as much difficulty as we had the very first day that after just a couple days the goat was uh manageable yeah I what mean, i mean what what was the difference do you think well she had never been hand milked so she had to get used to that and she was still getting used to living here so it was a lot of change all at once and she needed to get used to me and to trust me and things like that so I think, I think once she realized that, yeah, this was going to happen twice a day, every day, and that I was in charge and I was the boss, yeah, I, I think that that, that's really just how that worked. Can you even see me? Because mm -hmm. it looks like it's pointed I can see, over there. I can see you. It's a wide angle lens. Okay. lens. Yeah, so she just needed to get used to me and to know that she wasn't going to get out of this. And the few times that she's tried not to get on the milk stand, I, <laughs> she's a goose. What are you doing? <laughs> Do you have a scratch? <laughs> she and Valkyrie are such good buddies. She wants to be where Valkyrie is. <laughs> <laughs> Goat huddle. Yep. Oh, now they're going to play. <laughs> yeah, no, this is a complete difference from that very first day. Yeah. Uh, we were we were on the verge of really thinking that we made a big mistake. Yeah, I was in tears at one point because I was just like, this is the stupidest thing I've ever done. <laughs> because I really had expected other things to go wrong and not for this, this large goat to destroy things and, and not let me milk her and bellow at me for two days straight. <laughs> I and mean, she still bellows at me, but mostly now she bellows at me because she thinks I'm her, like, herd queen. And so when I leave, she assumes that 
I'm lost. And so she must tell me where to go find her. <laughs> Don't you? I know, I know what you're doing. Don't look at me like that's not what's happening. <laughs> Stoolfish. So, Indigo mm -hmm. and I are gonna milk, maybe. Oh, almost. 
never win all. Why? She sold you this goat. Big stupid little lifter. I'm gonna stick with the material, this dwarves. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fanatic excited. You're a good girl. You're just too big. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. start getting it down a little better and you have the guilt on the milking stand. It's a lot more relaxing. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
For goat snuggles. Oh, you're oh. gonna break the stand. Don't do that. Try to just hold her still. Hold her still. Don't. Uh. Yeah, she could break the stand if she wanted. No, oh, she's gonna break it. Where's Axe? Where's Axe? You're gonna hurt yourself. Miss your old thing. So much she peed there. That's yeah. awesome. Okay, go. 
index. index. It'll all be okay. It'll all be okay. An indigo. It'll all be okay. Yeah. Yes. You're good. You're doing good. There's no milk in her in that time of day. Okay. Do they let you milk goats before you buy them sometimes? I don't know. That would be a good question. I don't know. I think Indigo won that round. <laughs> <laughs> So the real question, Wendy, is was it worth it? We'll see. Mm -hmm. Ask me in a couple of weeks. <laughs> right now I'm feeling a little stressed out about it, to be honest. <sighs> but we have milk now, so that's good. What are you going to do with this first milk? I'm going to... I think we will try some of it and see how it tastes and then I'm going to make my potato leek soup with it. Yeah, it's more than I thought there would be. Mm -hmm. And this is the evening milking. <laughs> it's the morning milking. <laughs>